Alright, ladies and gentlemen, now I just found a little bit of a weird thing that's allowed me to access this event like a little bit earlier than expected because you shouldn't be able to access it, I think until like a few hours from now, uh, like midnight here in England. However, if you go onto an account that hasn't logged in in the last day, then it immediately loads the nutty calendar. So the way that you enter this event is uh, daily, you're going to be sent out a basket which gives you four baskets and also 500 acorns and you can use those four baskets uh, in order to access the event so we are on the og retired free-to-play account because that has not logged in within the um uh, what is it, the last 24 hours, uh, just so that we can access this and have a, a little bit of a jump in uh, and see what this event is looking like, man. But I'm very curious. Uh, I wanted to, like, do this event before doing my initial breakdown of, like, the Squirrel Store and the event overall, because this is, I think, one of the main sources of getting acorns. But as soon as we start this, I think there's, like, a 30-minute timer. Uh, so, yeah, I think we'll go with this team, man. This is, uh, these are champions I haven't played in a very, very long time. So I'm curious to see how this one uh, turns out um, but yeah it looks just like a, a gauntlet and you need to try and beat it all within 30 minutes there got some slightly challenging fights actually they really do escalate up um, uh, as you go later in this man that Mr. Sinister is very beefy and he's the rage node as well um, so let's see how far we can get this is definitely a, a bit of an interesting one We'll, we'll give it a go. We got uh, 30 minutes on the clock here. Let's see what we can do. Should we go for a booster as well? Uh, probably. Do I, have a, do I have any boost left on this account, actually? Got 20, I got 10%. Let's start with a 10% man, and if we need to, uh, we'll chuck on a 20% for some of the later fights as well. This is a uh, bit of an interesting one. Feels uh, a bit weird getting the old uh, retired free-to-play account out, but it's, uh, it's nice to see again a bit of action as well. I can land some of these parries now, man. That'd be sick. So I assume that this quest is uh, the quest just like randomly generates enemies by the look of it. But I may be incorrect on that one because I think like going into the quest, it said that Domino was going to be the final boss, and then it was like Nick Fury. So yeah, I don't know. It's a very interesting challenge. What's up, Metal Sonic dude? Hope you're doing well. I think as I've uploaded so much, the notifications have just decided that they are not going to go out, which is fair play, man. I've been a bit relentless on the old uploads today. I've right, got Trial by Fire, Redoubled Determination here. So I think, um... Oh, I don't know who to go for. Medusa, maybe? Don't really have a good incinerate option. Medusa will get this man down, providing we're playing aggressively enough. Uh, actually, maybe this wasn't the best node to bring Medusa in. Actually, if we get the armor shatter, it might be. But if she gets, um... No! Okay, that was not a good play at all in Redoubled Determination. Oh, man, maybe I should have gone for Gladiator Hulk. We can still survive this, though. <laughs> Just about. Uh... Okay, please don't auto-block. Dude, that was, that was inconvenient, man. That was inconvenient. At least we got a few units to burn, but that was, I think, 2,100 acorns there for that fight. So it's every single fight you win, I think you just immediately get acorns added to your stash. I don't think you need to finish the quest in order to claim all of the acorns. Let's go for the, uh, the next fight there. But yeah, I saw that. The side event is looking really, really nice so far. I can do like a full breakdown um, after this one. Let's have a look at this this Modoc fight. I probably should have paid closer attention to the nodes. Looks like there's some sort of uh, power gain. And if it's like kinetic transference or something like that. Yeah, it looks like a strong kinetic transference by the look of it. Come on, mate. Right, perfect. Can we get a Neuro? Right. 
Right, there we go. That man is down. God Angel. Bro, I miss playing this champion, man. He's just such a friggin' beast once you get into it. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, so, for everybody just joining chat, so I managed to get in just on my retired free-to-play account uh, because I haven't logged in today. So, if you are on, like, a normal account, man, you won't get it till midnight, but after, then you get the four baskets. So, as soon as the locking calendar resets, you can gain entry there. But I explained it at the start of the live stream, but also, like, nobody was here at the start of the live stream because YouTube didn't serve up the notifications. So, this stuff is going to be available in a few hours, but using my inactive free-to-play account, I logged into that. Um, I got the fresh reboot of the locking calendar, um, and it immediately gave me enough baskets to get access. So a little bit of a cheeky play there. So it just allows us to see this event a little bit early, but it seems really cool so far, man. I'm, I'm liking this one. Glancing on this green goblin, though, which is a real pain. Really hope this man doesn't uh, wreck us with his special two. Oh, no, that's even worse. Yeah, I need some more friggin' poison on me. Okay, I think we should have enough for the special... Th Actually, can he glance the special three stun? I don't know if he can. We're gonna find out. <laughs> We're gonna find out in a second. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Okay, no glancing there, which is nice to see. And then that should continue on the wood nicely. And then, there we go. Green Goblin is down. Straight in the bid, lads. Fantastic. So yeah, what do we get for that fight? 4,200 acorns straight in the stash there. Not bad, not bad. I, lo I actually, I really like the style of this quest. This is this is pretty interesting, man. I wish uh, there was some more stuff like this, but I, I'm enjoying this one so far. So you can push as, um, as much as you can here. We've got EMP mods, so I think Gladiator Hulk is the, the champion to go for on this one. I think we'll save up to that special too. See if we can do a bit of a burst cycle. I think we want to maybe trigger one EMP mod as well. Swinging a bit more damage output. Okay, let's not worry about it just yet. Out power lock. We're going for a double medium. Straight into a combo there. Oh, I just love how ham you can go after that special too. Bro, I miss my, I miss my rank four gladiator Hulk. Wish I had this man on the uh, the current free to play though. That'd be sweet. One day, boys. Next six star champion, maybe. Let's go. Yo, what's up, Easy MCOC? Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for the super chat there, sir. Need to get our blubberous well uh, back from the live stream actually of Coach Chisel. But thank you very much, Easy, for all the super chats today, dude. Hope you're doing well, Sebastian. Thank you very much. Um. Uh, for tuning in against the live stream, man. Hopefully you're having a good day, mate. Right, we've got a bit of morning star here, going up to 100k. Oh, mate, I reckon Luke Cage is going to be beast for this. Let's uh, see how this man performs against morning star here. I didn't look at the amount of acorns we got from winning the last fight as well. I'll, I'll have a look. Uh, one from this fight though. Oh, mate, look at those friggin' stacks. What is happening? That is awesome. Okay, I need to remember we don't have Luke Cage's Awakened ability. So just need to be aware of that. Bro, we lost those stacks like crazy. Uh, I think that should should be enough. If we get any stacks or the stun here... Oh, bro. That is unfortunate. It's a good start. A bit of a underwhelming finish, but not a, uh, not a bad start as well. Right, let's move on to the old uh, Corvus Glaive now. So Corvus, who do you want to use a Corvus? I think, oh, he's got personal space cornered. Hmm, I think considering he has uh, cornered, because that might have some funky stuff if I were to use Medusa, but if I use Luke Cage, mate, 100% safe. Oh, I didn't look at the acorns. 
It's so weird, I'm just not used to like checking that after. Right, I need to remind myself as soon as I get the spring corvus down, just don't smash the next button so ferociously. But it's also good because I haven't claimed any other acorns on this account. So as soon as I finish, I can see the total amount of acorns for doing a day of epic. If I, if I can do 100%, that is. Which I hope I can. There's a very stacked Mr. Sinister and Nick Fury as the final two. We can get through them, man. We can get through them. A little bit of free-to-play magic, bit of determination. Alright, and I need to remember just to be a bit patient toward the end of this. And there we go. Corvus is down, so no touch in. And that is, I don't know what fight that is. I think it's number like six, maybe seven. 4,286 again. Not a, bad, not a bad stack for a single fight. That's pretty decent there, man. And then we've got um, a Nightcrawler up next. So we've got Rapid Metabolism and Aspect of Evolution. Ooh. Ah, uh, right, so that's Archangel, that's pretty much like you, Sentinel, man. Like, that's the, really the only, only choice I have in this matchup, eh? Gotta try and make sure this guy doesn't... Yes! Oh, mate! That is a fantastic outcome. Right, let's not let him switch back. Couple of special ones, please, sir. Right, let's send this man some rockets. The damage is going to be greatly reduced just because of the rapid metabolism mode. Shrugging off those incinerates very quickly. Oh no, I, I got him in the wrong stance there. Oh, why did I hit into the block that much? That was such a dumb, dumb move, man. Okay, he's almost down though. Another combo. It's one of the dumbest plays I've ever done. Oh, no, that wasn't friggin' unstoppable as well. Bro, I'm like, Sykes gotta kill him, man. Oh, really? What is this evade RNG, bro? Come on. Really? <laughs> there we go. Oh, man. That was a slog toward the end. Right, we've got two fights left. And then um, we're done. Ha wait, let's see how many acorns we get from this one. Is it gonna pop up? Okay, there we go. Let's have a look. So 4,286. I swear it's been like that for the last um, four or so fights there. Let's see if the last two have a uh, surplus of acorns to gift us. Oh, it's all good, Paul. Um, don't worry, man. It's been the question. It's the logging calendar that's going to come tomorrow for most people. But because I'm on an inactive free-to-play account and I didn't log in today... I could immediately log in and start claiming it after the event went live, if that makes sense. So I can't claim it on any of the accounts that I logged in today, so my two active accounts, but my inactive free-to-play account, I could claim it. So yeah, hopefully that makes sense. But anyway, we've got Mr. Sinister up next. So when the attack gains a bar of power, we get Power Sting. There's also a Rage Node as well. I think Sentinel is the way to go here. Yeah, I think so. I don't think any of the other champions uh, are going to be amazing for the brute of this fight. So yeah, just, just some cheesy stuff to get early access to this one, man. It's a cool event, man. Really cool. I like it. Haven't been tilted by this event too much so far. Ah, that's two points on the Rage node. I think as soon as I get that analysis complete, yeah, I'm going to trigger Rage really quickly. 
Uh, fully unblockable, Mr. Sinister. Incoming. We can get him down, though. Oh, no, it's the power sting that got me. What a mug. Oh, no. Oh, damn it. Why did I think that was a good... Why did I forget about the power sting? I was too focused. I was like, okay, unblockable's coming, man. I'm about to get ruined by this. Forgot about the, um... The challenge right in front of me there. Ah, uh, what a mug tier move, lads. What a mug tier move. I don't think I want to armor shatter with Medusa on this matchup. It's about to go. Yeah, this Mr. Sinister is a bit horrible, mate. Quake, this be easy game, easy life. No, didn't get the timing right on that. <laughs> this man is a beefcake, though. Bro, I, be I better get, like, 10k acorns for taking this man down. <sighs> but the, the the beauty of this quest is if you're like, you see this Mr. Sinister, and you're like, nah, I'm, I'm good, bro, I'm good. You can just be good and just be like, nah, I'm not going to bother. Just exit out. I'm a bit concerned about how we're going to deal with the Nick Fury, though, because Archangel is, um, he's a bit beat. Oh, that was not an epic gamer moment right there. Just need to be careful not to throw that special two there as well. But there we go. The second to last, Mr. Sinister is down. I, I didn't even see the friggin' acorns there, man. We'll look at the total stack once we're done, though. Uh, but I want to get the Snake Fury down. So we've got Bubble Shield, Oscillate as well. Right. Are we just going to try and gun it with Nick Fury? Let's, yeah, let's go with Luke Cage, man. Let's go with Luke Cage. Start us off with not really the the best matchup for any Nick Fury. Actually, did he work all right for the event quest? It's been ages since I've um, pulled around with this man. Come on, special two. Oh, no. That's not what we wanted to see. Come on. Oh, mate, you're having a laugh. I needed that stun so badly there. We got like the 13% chance to not get it. Come on. I need this stun bad. Really? Are you actually having a giggle, boys? That was the worst stun RNG I think any Luke Cage player has ever had. That was uh, that was horrific, man. Horrific. We had three exhaustion on the first one. <sighs> that was just robbery, mate. That was absolute robbery. Right, let's go again. Archangel. We might need to use a 40% revive, but we'll get the job done. M might be able to do this. There is a chance. Oh, I think I want to wait a sec. Oh, he's going to batter me, he's going to batter me, he's going to batter me, he's going to batter me. Come on, mate. Yeah, I was just dead there. He had like a second phase Fury. He had, um, friggin' Oscillate as well. <laughs> oh, it's a chunky final fight, man, definitely. But let's go for a little bit of Hulk. Bro, my free-to-play team is battered in this event. Oh, actually, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, I just wanted to get rid of his unblockable there. Oh, yeah, there's nothing. 
Oh, maybe that'll push him defensive, and then we can somehow get into his block, push him to special two. That's it, boys. The comeback is on. no way this is going to work. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was an ambitious try, though. Right. Let's slap it a 40% um, revive to Archangel. We got this, lads. Easy. Easy game. Actually, do we want to use Medusa? I think so, just because we can't, like, heavy attack. So let's just go for a bit of Medusa. Should have this sword. But this is a, uh, a tricky node combination. Oh. Not a fan of that block damage, eh? There we go. Right, so I think we need to use one revive there to get through it all. So let's see for that final fight. How many acorns did we land? How many did we secure there? 10,000. Oh, that is not a bad stack at all, man. So for one day of epic... And I think, like, looking at the calendar, I think you can do it, like, every single day because you get four of those. So it's, like, 28 days. Uh... Yeah, because, like, uh, for Midnight, a lot of players are going to receive this. So every single day, you get four unbeatable baskets um, and 500 acorns. Oh, no, 1,000 for that one. And I think some of them go up a little bit. Yeah, 2,000 goes up. Uh, 2,500 there. Another 2,500 and 3,500 as well. But if I have a look at my currency, are the acorns listed in here? So yeah, one day is um, uh, just over 43,359. So what's that times by 28, boys? Let's whip out the calculators. <laughs> so uh, if you do it all every single day, is that like a million right there? my math off yeah that's well over a million that's like 1.2 million there wow okay well that's definitely a really big chunk of it and you could still um you know miss those final two fights a fair bit as well and still get well over a million from all the other sources okay well that's definitely interesting to note there well ladies and gentlemen let me know what you think of this um uh, this brand new side event. I like it. I think it's a, definitely a, a cool one I like that you can just bail out on it any single time and like still have the acorns that you recruit um, So yeah, seems like a pretty good addition. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen Thank you so much for watching today's live stream If you did enjoy it, if you do me a massive favor and smash that like button, that'd be greatly appreciate it But aside from that, thank you very much for watching. Take care and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day